Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Chris, and in this video, we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide how to convert GPT to MBR without losing data. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Part 1. Convert GPT to MBR without losing data for OS disk. First, make sure to have a USB drive with a bootable Windows installation, because we will need it in the process. Now, go to your browser of choice and search for Disk Genius. Navigate to the official website, then download and install the program on your computer and open it. In the Disk Genius interface, identify the system disk you want to convert. In my case, it's Disk Zero. Right click on the GPT disk and select the Convert to MBR Partition Table option. Click OK when you are asked whether to convert the partition table to MBR. Click the Save All button from the toolbar and click Yes to save changes to the disk. Now, you need to restart the computer to enter the BIOS to switch the BIOS mode to Legacy BIOS. Our videos on how to enter BIOS or UEFI by manufacturer and how to change boot mode from UEFI to Legacy or CSM might help you. The link is in the description below. After switching the boot mode, insert the USB drive with the bootable Windows installation into the computer, then boot into the Windows installation setup normally. Now click on Next, then click on Repair My Computer, then click on Troubleshoot, and lastly click on Command Prompt. Now type Disk Part, then hit Enter. Type List Disk, then hit Enter. Identify the disk you want to convert. In my case, it's Disk Zero. Type Select Disk Zero, then hit Enter. In my case, it's Disk Zero. For you, the number might be different, so make sure to choose the right disk number. Type List Volume, then hit Enter. Here, you will see the selected disk volumes. We need to know the volume number and the letter for the system reserve partition, which is usually around 50 to 100 megabytes in size. In this case, it's volume 1, letter C. And we need to know the letter for the primary partition, which is the size of the partition you have Windows installed on. In this case, it's the letter D. Now type Select Volume 1, then hit Enter. In my case, it's Volume 1 where 1 is the system reserved volume number. Type List Volume, then hit Enter, to make sure that the volume you want to select is selected by the star on the left of it. If everything looks right, type Format or Format FS equal NTFS, then hit Enter. The Format FS equal NTFS command will format the partition with NTFS file system, while the Format command will only format the partition and keep the FAT32 file system. Both will work. But when you install Windows 10 on an MBR disk, it will create a NTFS system reserve partition by default and not FAT32. So it might be better to go with the format FS equal NTFS command. Now type list volume, then hit enter to make sure that the volume is still selected and formatted to NTFS or still FAT32 if you choose to go with the format command. Now type active, then hit enter to mark that partition as active. Then type exit and hit enter to exit from disk part. Now, while you are still in the command prompt, type bcd boot d colon backslash windows forward slash s c colon forward slash f bios. Then hit enter. Replace d with your primary partition letter from the previous list volume and replace c with your system reserved partition letter from the previous list volume. Lastly, type exit and hit enter to exit from the command prompt. Finally, you should see a new option to continue to windows. Now, turn off your PC remove the USB drive, and turn it back on again. And that's it. Part 2. Convert GPT to MBR without losing data for data disk. Go to your browser of choice and search for Disk Genius. Navigate to the official website, then download and install the program on your computer and open it. In the Disk Genius interface, identify the disk you want to convert. In my case, it's Disk 1. Right click on the GPT disk and select the Convert to MBR Partition Table option. Click the Save All button from the toolbar and click Yes to save changes to the disk. And that's it.
And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to share more with you. So, until next time, see you later. Thank you.